All right, so chapter three, lesson five, is divide multi-digit numbers. Here, the first thing we want to do is we want to write the definitions for the highlighted vocabulary. So, um, it says when one number is divided by another number, the result is called the quotient. So that is the answer to a division problem, right? The quotient is the answer to a division problem. The dividend is the number that is being divided. The dividend is the number that is being divided. And the divisor is the number that is used to divide the other number. Okay? So the divisor is the number used to divide another number. Here, we want to label the division problem with the correct vocabulary term, quotient, dividend, and divisor. So. Once again, the number that's being divided is 240. That is the dividend. Very good. The number that is used to divide that dividend is called the divisor. Very good. And the answer to this division problem is the quotient. So let's take a look at this problem. It says, when you are at rest, it takes about 60 seconds for a single blood cell to travel around your body and back to your heart. In 120 seconds, about how many times does a single blood cell travel around your body and back to your heart? We want to write the dividend, the divisor, and the quotient in the diagram below. So here, it says um, we have the important information we have uh, when we're at rest it's 60 seconds right down here um, 60 seconds it takes 60 seconds for a single blood cell to travel around your body and it, we want to know in 120 seconds how many times is that single blood cell travel around your body so where is the 120 gonna go and where is the 60 gonna go the 120 will be the Dividend, very good. The 60 is the divisor, very good. And then we can divide. We can say how many times does 60 go into 120? Two times. And that is my quotient. So today we are going to divide three digit dividends. We're going to divide three digit dividends. In this lesson, you will divide. Um, multi-digit numbers and of course we're going to use um, estimation to help us place the first digit into the quotient so we're going to say about how many times does the div uh, divisor go into parts of the dividend okay so here for example uh, example one it says uh, find 351 divided by 9 so here when we write it okay we're going to call this the little division house right the divisor, I'm sorry, the dividend, 351, that goes underneath. It goes in the house, right? And then the divisor, the number that we're dividing into that dividend, goes on the outside. So now we're going to say about how many times does 9 go into 35? That's where the estimation comes in. So 9 goes into 35 about 3 times. So 3 times 9 is 27. And then we subtract. And then we bring down that 1 in the next place uh, place value. So 9 goes into 81 9 times and 9 times 9 is 81 and of course here we have a zero remainder. For example 2 we want to see how many times does 31 go into um, 878. So we have 878 divided by 31. Well let's see 31 we want to know how many times does that go into 87. Well 31 times 2 or 30 times 2 is 60 right and 30 times 3 is 90 so 3 would be too much right there's another little bit of the estimating so we're going to put 2 so 2 times 31 is 62 and then we subtract so when we subtract we get 25 and we bring down the the 8 now 31 goes into 258 8 times and then 8 times 31 is 248 and now we have a remainder of 10. Now in this lesson, we are going to write the remainder as R and then whatever the remainder is. No decimals in this one, okay? So here's gonna be 28 remainder 10. That's gonna be your final answer in this lesson. Is everybody clear?
So here, oh, there's another little thing I wanted to share with you. You don't have to write this part down. But when you when we have future lessons, you, eventually you're going to change this remainder into a fraction. So this answer would be 28. The remainder is 10. That's going to be our numerator. And then the denominator will be the divisor. So that's going to be 10 over 31. And in future lessons, that's how we're going to write our answer. So that's just something extra I wanted to share with you. So let's do some got it problems together. Here we want to find the quotient. So we have 768 divided, divided by 8, right? So the 768 is the dividend. Very good. So that's 768 goes in the house, right? And we're going to divide that by 8. That's the divisor. So 8 can't go into 7, right? So we need to see how many times does 8 go into 76. So 8 goes into 76 about 9 times. Very good. So 9 times 8 is 72, and then we will subtract. So 8 minus 2, of course, is 4, and then we'll bring down that 8. And now, how many times does 8 go into 48? 6 times. And 6 times 8 is 48. And then we subtract, and we have 0 remainder. All right, how about you do example B on your own, and then I will show you the answer. All right, so here is your answer. So 318 divided by 16 is 19 with a remainder of 14. So 16 goes into 31. Well, you know 16 times 2 is 30. Two. So two is too much. So you're going to put one here. So one times 16 is 16. And then when we subtract, we get 15. And then we bring down the 8. And now 16 goes into 158 nine times. And 9 times 16 is 144. And then when we subtract, there's our remainder, 14. So now we are going to divide four-digit dividends. Now, there is nothing different. It's all the same. The steps for dividing three-digit dividends and four-digit dividends are the same, okay? So here we have 6,493 divided by 75. So when we do that, okay, we want to say how many times does 75 go into 6? Nope. 64? Nope. So 649, okay? So that's going to be 8. 8 times 75 is 600. And then we subtract. 449 here, and then we got to bring down that 3. So 75 goes into 493 six times. 6 times 75 is 450, and we have a remainder of 43. A word problem example, example 4. It says the average person has 1,460 dreams a year. What is the average number of dreams a person has each year? night. So, first thing we need to know is how many nights are there in one year? So, there are 365 days. Very good. So, our nights. 365. So, we're going to divide 1,460 divided by 365. So, um, 365 cannot go into 114 or 146. So, we have to just make a guess at the 1,460, right? So we're going to estimate. Well, let's see. 3, if I do 300 times 5, that's going to be 1,500, right? So that's going to be too much. So we're going to bring it down to 4, okay? So 4 times 365 is 1,460. And of course, when we subtract, we have 0 remainder. So the average number of dreams a person has each night is four. All right, so now in the got it problems, we want to divide 4,321 divided by 56. So let me rewrite. So 
56 can't go into 4 or 43, so we have to see how many times can 56 go into 432. So, anybody want to take an estimate on that one? Seven. About 7, right? Okay, let's try 7. Because um, 8 would be 400, but then you have 6 times 8 is 48, so you'd have to carry the 4, right? Mm -hmm. So, we're going to say 7. Very good. So we'll say 7 here, so 7 times 6 is 42, carry the 4, 7 times 5 is 35, plus 4 is 39, and then we're going to subtract. So we've got a 0 here, then we're going to have to borrow, so we're going to borrow here, so 13 minus 9 is 4, and then one. So how many times does 56 go into 401? 7. And then, of course, 7 times 56, we already have it right here, is minus 392. And then we're going to subtract. So here we've got to borrow over here, so this becomes a 3, and then this becomes a 10. And now I can borrow from that 10, and that becomes a 9, and this becomes 11. So 11, 10, 9, right? So this is 77 remainder 9. Do example D on your own and then I'll show you the answer. Here is your answer. So here, 91 can go into 846 nine times. Nine times 91 is 819. Then when we subtract, we end up with 27, and then we have to bring down this five down here. So now 91 can go into 275 three times. So three times 91 is 273. When we subtract, we end up with a remainder of two. All right. Got it, letter E. To promote its opening weekend, a water park gave a local middle school 1,050 free tickets. So that's a total of 1,050 free tickets. The middle school has 350 students. Each student will receive the same number of tickets. How many tickets will each student receive? So on this one, which, what is the dividend? 1,050 is the dividend. 1,050 is the dividend that goes under the house, right? And then the divisor, the one that you're using to divide, is 350. So that goes out there. Um, you could, when you're estimating, you could just imagine taking out those zeros, right? Just imagine taking out those zeros. Then you can say, okay, there's a 3 there, and I want to get close to 10. You with me? So what number am I going to multiply 350 times to get close to this number? 3. Very good. So 3 times 350, so that's going to be 0 here. 3 times 5 is 15. Carry the 1. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 1 is... 10. So we have zero remainder, so each student will get three tickets. Very good. Don't forget, I always want you to label when you have a word problem. So each student will get three tickets. Example 5 says the total number of seat, seats in a college stadium is 5,000 I mean, 54,912. This is the total number of seats. There are 44 sections, and each section has an equal number of seats. The question is, how many seats are in each section? So we're going to take the total number of seats in the whole stadium and divide them by how many sections there are, 44. So when we do that division, that gives us 1,248 seats in each section.